Hi everyone and in this video we are going to talk about why developers are choosing Nest.js these days. I mean there is a lots of debate around should we use Nest.js, should we use Express, should we use just uh, Fastify. So I'm going to answer all those questions. Why should you choose Nest.js and what are the reasons why developers are adopting Nest.js these days. Overall I mean to say there is no like one reason. There are lots of reasons and I can answer all these questions because I'm using Nest.js since last 5-6 years. Prior to that, I have also tried Express, Koa, HappyJS for building the microservices. But now, after using Nest.js, I'm like frozen to the Nest.js. I don't want to try even if, even if any other framework which can be or which is coming as a better option than Nest.js. So the first reason why I want to use Nest.js is a TypeScript support. So you might uh, be aware that there are lots of framework, Nest.js, Express, Kuwa, HappyJS. Prior to that, most of the code uh, for the Node.js Node server side was not TypeScript heavy. But Nest.js is enforcing you to use TypeScript only because Nest.js is heavily inspired by Angular and there is no way you can escape using TypeScript. I mean, there is no way you can just use a vanilla JavaScript to build the APIs. So now the second reason of using Nest.js is the IOC container because Nest.js is providing an inversion of control container. That is a container that is maintaining the dependency injection tree. I mean, all the serv injectable services are in the IOC. You can get the instance of any particular service. Consider the application without DI framework. When you want to inject, when you want to get an object of one service into another service, what you do, you manually create the instance and do the tight coupling of two services into one another. That's tight coupling and not a good design. How IOC is doing it, inversion of control and DI framework is doing it. They are maintaining the dependency injection tree and through the IOC container, you can get the instance of any particular service. So that is the second most popular reason for me to switch and start using Nest.js because I came from the background of uh, high level programming where we are writing lots of classes, dependency injection in the Spring, Spring Boot, Java. So I love using TypeScript here and this modular design where you are writing, you are creating the IOC container and everything is like sometimes feel like a Java and .NET. If you are a functional developer doing a lots of functional programming, then you might, you have an option to hate these things because you are more oriented to functions than classes. If there are classes, then all the object oriented concept, dependency injections, encapsulations, abstractions, all those things will come into picture and TypeScript from the Microsoft is heavily inspired with all those concepts. And next important uh, feature Nest.js provides is the modular design. Whatever the application you are building in the Nest.js is modular by design. I mean, you have a modules, you have a controller, you have services, you have providers, pipes, interceptor filters. Everything is encapsulated inside a module. You can create a multiple module, shared module, core module. You can define the dependency of modules into one another. So you can share services across one, mo uh, one module to another module. I can create a shared module and those shared services can be shared among other modules. So this modular design is encapsulating all the core principles, all the principles of uh, JavaScript, I mean, solid principles are also adopted. Even the, the all the object oriented programming concepts are adopted in this modular design. And when it comes to the folder structure, Nest.js is, I will say the best. I will give 10 out of 10 when you want to design the folder structure because across the team, you can follow the same standard because, so let's say if you are using Nest.js across the team, you can follow the same convention. You can follow the same strategy, same folder structure and same baseline projects. Nobody is going to deviate uh, the, the baseline design or the modular design principles which your team is adopting. So across the team, you can have the same code. Just by looking into the code, I can understand the concepts did, uh, driven in that particular service. Next reason is it is strongly opinionated. That means it is enforcing you some conventions to follow. And I love in doing that because I spent couple of years using Express and there was no strict opinion. It was, uh, there was no conventions follow, being followed. Everybody was writing the code in their own way. And that is really a pain point of using Express or any other framework because you can design. You have freedom. 
but in the next years i don't need that kind of freedom i need a proper structure proper modular code and uh, following all the best principles i mean there is a very big list if you go to the next years it has a native graphql support validations with the class validators and it also supports microservices based on tcp emqp i mean you can use a rabbit mq redis all those set of uh, microservices built with the nest js like grpc tcp emqp all those protocols are supported i'm using heavily nest js for building the rest apis and the graphql apis i have even tried the apollo federation integration with the nest js nest js provide all possible integrations with all external services and it has a rich community that is a very big point like i never face any very really big challenge in integrating anything you can create a custom dynamic modules publish them and reuse them custom modules with any of the project it has a really nice integration with the workspaces and you can use nest js with the nx or npm workspaces it has a good integration with the monorepo structures so there are lots of uh, advantages of using nest js if you want to do something really lightweight just uh, plain and simple you can go with express but for production ready and large scale applications you can go with the uh, nest js really don't worry about the performance because it's not that you are going to get uh, billions of request and there is a slight variations with the express nest js and fastify when we compare the performance but performance has a cost but not each and every service we are building is going to be used by netflix or any large scale microservices right so stick to conventions nest js is really giving lots of good opportunities to the javascript developers to build a production ready really nice set of uh, server 